pale as old as wine, I need a drink. We're doing the Burbank version. You guys ready for another timeless tale to be destroyed by another cheap cash-in movie? This is another 90s Burbank movie released under the Timeless Tales series. It doesn't feature that drunk wizard at the beginning, but it does have that same pirate treasure credit roll. Because this cartoon is a real treasure. When Belle the Beauty learns her father is held captive in the Beast's castle, she offers to take his place. Her name's Beauty in this one, not Belle. But jeez, I wonder why they lied like that. You never know, Disney might have gotten really drunk and forgotten what their characters looked like and forgotten to slap their own name on this. And you know, most of the time these lie covers try and make the characters look better than they actually do. I mean, they don't actually look good in the cartoon either, but they certainly weren't doing themselves any favors with this. My name is Beauty. This is my story. I used to work for the Umbrella Corporation. An incident occurred. A virus escaped. Everybody died. Well, this Resident Evil reboot's better already because, you know, they're using Beauty of the Beast instead of Alice in Wonderland. I say, there it is! Heading into harbor! We're starting with Beauty's father's business tragedy before even introducing Beauty or the family? My name is Beauty. I mean properly. My ship, I'm ruined. Yeah, yeah, oh, come on, your goods are probably just a little damp. They might still be of use. Well, that's mighty out of character for you, old man! Sure is! <laughs> My family's fortune now confirmed lost. What, they only have a couple of days to shoot with beauty, so they just had to record voiceover for a bunch of scenes? That makes sense. Fate dealt my poor father another terrible blow. Ugh. Now that he's wet, he's completely useless. Just kidding. He didn't need the water to become useless because in his heart, he knows that he never had a use. Little loser. He became both sick at heart and extremely confused. Sucks about your ships, dude, but if you're gonna let some bad weather wreck your heart, you really are useless, man. Now the horse, there's someone with some real problems. <laughs> Well, I certainly can't walk over that one. Might as well wander aimlessly off the path. And just when all seemed lost, he saw it. He saw it, did he? Get out of here. I really am glad we're just skipping to Beauty's father at the Beast Castle before Beauty's even been on screen. My word, I say. I never expected this castle to have an interior this it really is amazing! Look! Hallways and doors! This blows my mind, it does! My oh, uh, word! Good heavens! Free advice, dude! Just leave now! Save yourself some time! I, I say, is anyone here? It was as though an invisible host had been expecting father. The table had been set for one, and a fine meal served ready to eat. An invisible host? Yeah, that must be it. Couldn't be that someone was playing to eat and then got pulled away by something, possibly connected with that storm going on. Nah, the food must be for you! Oh, golly gosh! Yep, without fail. Once you are a beauty's father, you are forever a jackass. Let me do my wine dance. It's really impressive. Yep, that was it. <laughs> exhausted. Now, if I walk into a bedroom, that's also got to be meant for me. Oh, my word. Golly gosh, I suck. Oh, golly gosh. Stop trying to make golly gosh a thing. Beauty's fathers don't need catchphrases. Yeah, yeah. 
seems wrong not to thank such a kind host, but if you can't find the host, what is one to do? Besides, if I find my host, they might expect compensation for all the things I took like a jackass. Golly gosh, my word! Red roses. I'll take one home for dear beauty. He has to explain that since we didn't get the scene of beauty actually asking for the rose, which makes this whole scene have less meaning and impact. <laughs> I'm a ferocious beast. Me ow. How dare you? How oh dare I? What? You messed up my entire castle. My word, nice kitty. I thought you'd be more upset about the rose. Oh, yeah, my stupid garden. That's the thing I'm really going to be most upset about. <laughs> you owe me 150 bucks, man. Golly gosh, I'm a little light due to a boating accident, but I do have some children. Do you need any slaves around here? Oh, sure, sounds good. It's my rose! First you accept my hospitality, and then you steal from me. Which is completely different from all the other stealing you are doing last night, I guess. You must die. You must die! Man, this is the lankiest beast I think we've seen. Guess he's got old men coming in and eating all his food every night. You stole from me, thief! Uh, I didn't steal for myself. It was for my lovely daughter. Blame her, not me! A daughter, <laughs> you say? Two daughters, actually. Uh, Ruana and Beauty. What? Did you run out of real names after the first one? Well, I wanted to name her Golly Gosh, but the wife said no. And then I think she died just to get away from me. I really should probably just kill you and do the world a favor. I will grant you three months. To do what? To send one of your daughters here to take your place of her own free will. If he forcibly sends them, it's not really of their own free will, now is it, beast? But I can't do that! Oh, yes you can! Oh, my word! I never thought of it that way! Take the rose and get out of my sight! Beastie Boy didn't even care about the stupid rose. Everyone's just a jerk. The roses don't affect the beast's life in this one either, so he's just being an extreme garden weirdo. Three months earlier... Really? Did you have any good reason to jumble the story around like this? Spoilers, they didn't. Oh, Rowaner. Rowaner? The first time we actually see Little Miss narration and it's to her saying Rowaner? Look, even Rowaner didn't realize that was her name. You looked so beautiful last night. I should jolly well hope I look beautiful Every night, Beauty? Well, her sister's named Beauty, so I can't really blame Rowaner for having a complex about this. I didn't mean that. I, I meant... Uh, what Beauty meant was a golly gosh. My word. Didn't you, my dear? Y yes, Papa. I, I, I say, say, say everyone, I've, I've never so, so seen so much wealth in one room as I so, 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 so saw here last evening. Oh, good. Stuttery drunk son. I can't wait for that to just get funnier and funnier as it goes along. Well said, Clara Two Point Blow. Welcome to the Van Oxley family. <laughs> and it's not every day a mere banker like myself is invited to marry into one of the country's wealthy <laughs> families. Money isn't everything, you know. It's what you are that counts. Well said, old Van Oxley. You haven't looked in a mirror lately, have you? Glad we're meeting this fiance of Rowaner, who almost looks like a copy paste of Stuttery Son. He's so in important to the story that he never shows up again after this scene. <laughs> Terribly sorry to bother you on a Sunday, sir. You bet it's Sunday. Reports are that all three of your ships have been sunk off the Ivory Coast. Oh no, you sunk my give a shit. Wow, we never saw this boat tragedy coming. Glad they flipped things around needlessly. And the crew's lost. My poor, loving father was ruined in the tragedy. 
Of course, we were more concerned about the money than the deaths. Mostly because Father was stupid enough to pour all his money into three shipments all being made at the same time. For my dear sister, Rowanner, the news could not have been worse. She was still named Rowanner. Maxwell had cruelly broken off his engagement to her. At least that frees her up for the bees, because I wouldn't do it this time. Just for once, can it be the other sister? Yeah, I'm sure there were a lot of realty signs like that back then. Things might be a lot worse. We could all be dead, you know. <laughs> Father, we are dead. Glad even though they're supposedly so poor now, they're still able to keep their maid on staff. I assume the soup's only the first course. Yes, it is. Multi-course meals. Wow, they're really roughing it. But, 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 but we're not p -p -p poor. Yes, we are. Meet the disgusting Van Porpers. <laughs> that joke was so bad, I'm dying! I could not really blame Rowanna and Julius. They did not know any better. Their behavior began affecting our dear father's health. If them not liking the food was killing them, you might as well let them go. Jeez, I'm sure the next time there's bad weather, he'll start having heart issues. He became sick at heart. Oh yeah, rip in peace, old man. Collie gosh. From Mr. Turkington. More bad news, I hope. One of your vessels has survived the storm. I may not be ruined after all. Wow, I wonder how that'll go. Why are we telling the story all stupid like this? If it's a mentality of you already know this, so it doesn't matter, then we don't need to watch this, do we? Beauty, my dear, what would you like? Bung, 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 bung. Nothing, father. I don't want anything from you. You're a sweet girl, beauty, like a flower. Of course. I'll get you some flour to bake me a cake. Die, daddy, die. Golly gosh, my word. If father doesn't return with his money, he needn't bother coming back. That was the best dream I've ever had. A beautiful, mysterious face appeared before me. You might want to check on the meaning of beautiful again there, beauty. Do not be afraid, beauty. I'm a chipmunk in disguise. The true face of love will be revealed. Your love is so stupid. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Beast allowed me to take the rose. Beauty, you realize what you've done. You've practically caused Father's death. Oh, good. I'll go back and discuss it rationally with the Beast. No, Father, you can't go back by yourself. He has magic powers. He'll kill you. How do I know that when I wasn't there? Well, because I narrated it, silly. I'll go to the beast in your place, father. Oh, golly gosh, beauty, you've talked me into it. Okay, bye. <laughs> Clara, two point blow here, fired. It was as though the beast knew to the minute when we were to arrive. Because the beast is non-linear and lives in a wormhole. What? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the stupid past people amazed by automatic doors. They're so dumb. We could feel his powerful presence in that room. What she's saying is it stunk really bad. Were we here for anything important? I can't remember anymore. Oh, well, let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Father, <laughs> I should have been afraid. But I didn't have a single thought going through my mind, so I couldn't be. Welcome to the theater of the eye. <laughs> That's when I realized the acid I dropped this morning may have been a mistake. I was expecting you. That's why I'm so surprised and enraged right now. My father is not a thief. He is a merchant and a man of honor who values his word above all. Holy shit, I never dreamed you'd be so delusional. We are meant to be. He is here only because he would have died tomorrow. And that's how I know you came of your own free will. 
Uh, wait, I forget where I was going with any of this. You may do with me what you wish. Are you prepared to do dishes? Because I hate doing dishes. The price was much too high. I went home and the beast died. The end. You will never hear from her again. Forever. The beast can teleport in this one because... Gotta give him something to make up for his lack of muscle. Say farewell to your daughter forever. Then, a feeling of great peace and happiness suddenly came over me. Hmm, almost like she's happy to never see her useless father again. Weird. Dear Beauty, only someone as pure of heart as you would die for their father. And for this, you will die for After Father departed, the beast remained invisible. Yet there were signs everywhere that he was there. A harpsichord was left for me to play. But a harpsichord is supposed to be all like a reverse keys piano, which surprisingly no one mentioned to me when I called the harpsichord that in the anime Beauty and the Beast video. As though by magic I found new clothes and shoes. Sorry, I kidnapped you for life gifts. Truly are magical. Anyway, Beauty was so thrilled with all the new junk, she made sure not to wear any of it because that'd be too much bother for the animators on this one. I was free to move in and around the castle. From this, I knew the beast did not intend to take my life. Otherwise, why would he be so kind to me? Yeah, sure. Well, I guess he is letting you dine without having to look at his stupid doofster lanky face, so that is kinda kind. Oh wait, never mind, he shows up and ruins dinner quite colossally. I am Beast. Is, is that not obvious by my ugliness? Perhaps, but your heart, it must be kind and good, Beast. Why else would you threaten to murder my father? If only you would marry me. Marry you? Well, so far they have the chemistry of him not showing up for a bit and not killing her, so they're pretty much at this point, right? I beg you to marry me. I cannot marry you. Mamma mia! Oh no! No! We got a real no theme going on with these 90s Burbank movies. That's, uh, something. Something no. Oh wow, I didn't realize you could throw such a tantrum. Now of course I'll marry you. Each evening for the next three months, Beast came to the dining hall with exactly the same request. And that's the true meaning of this story. Propose until she's so annoyed she says yes just to shut you the hell up. I beg you to marry me, Beauty. I cannot marry you. Cannot marry you. Well, I think we skipped the part where we learned about their telepathy, but I'm glad it's just being used to be annoying. No! For you. A flower? Well, that changes everything. You will not marry me because of the way I look. It was true. I could not marry Beast because of his appearance. If only a more handsome fellow had threatened to kill my father, I'd be all over that. And yet, as time passed, I began thinking of it less and less. It was almost as if Stockholm Syndrome was kicking in. The usual old man sickness starts up, so Beauty's gotta go see the old coot die. And of course, Beast brings up his loneliness meter and pulls out the teleport ring, to which Beauty gives my favorite reaction in this whole thing. Like she's suspicious this is a covert proposal or something. Suddenly, I was at the cottage in my bedroom with my sister Roanner. Luckily, old Roanner still slept next to an empty bed or this homecoming might have gotten a bit awkward. What are you doing here? <laughs> You're meant to be dead! It's great to be home again, right, Beauty? Is it really you, Beauty? It's me, Austin! Oh, son of a bitch! I've something to live for again now. No! No! Oh! Two 
beauty. Beast. Of course the beast can teleport items, especially when it's for not important to the story at all things like a chest full of clothes. Might as well just throw that in there. Whose is it? Beauties. If there's anything in the trunk you'd like, please take it. They're all back in here. He obviously meant them to be only for you, Beauty. Well, that's good because Beauty really is going to need a change of clothes while she's back home. <laughs> Just kidding. She's going to wear that same pink dress every single day. Good thing Rowanna isn't allowed with any of them. She might actually wear them. Rowanna and Julius are bitterly unhappy, and it seems I can't give them any of Beast's gifts to cheer them up. And forced selfishness is what's gonna finally make her fall in love with him. I guess. She won't go back on time. Beast will strike her dead for that. Well, we can always hope. I've got an absolutely fatal idea for beauty. What kind of idea is that? Ba 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 beauty. Thank you, Rowanna and Julius. By the way, the beast has used his evil magic to strike you both dead. Surely the perfect wedding gift. <laughs> I loved my family, but I had begun to miss Beast. Well, yeah, I guess who wouldn't begin to miss that guy? No! No! Listen, dear beauty, hear the voice of Beast. Oh, no! Wait, the Beast yelled no? Well, that's new! I ate too many cookies so full. When you did not come last night, my heart burst. And that's exactly why I can never marry you, you weak loser. <gasps> <gasps> Save my life, beauty. Oh no, no, no! I was a prince. An evil spirit placed a curse on me that could only be broken by love. Why? I don't know. We only had time for the important things in this adaptation. Someone who could see the true face of love. That's the face I'm making right now. Will you marry me? Yes, now that you're not ugly, I've learned a real lesson. Now let's finally get to know each other. So old jerk and maid got to move back to rich town for no good reason and we seriously end on the two douche kids having to sit around the cottage for another year because no one likes them hey. oh ba -ba 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 -ba. worst winnie the pooh adaptation ever <laughs> ending was kind of abrupt, I feel like I forgot to tell you guys something very important, which is this adaptation was the very first-